Since you gon' lean with the pop, with the rock, with the drop, with it, put it back, do it, throw it back, this is toxic. Got me flying first class, now she moving too fast, she gon' make a man feel lost. Just lean with the pop, with the rock, with the drop, with it, put it back, down. Since you gon' lean with the pop. Y'all, I'm gonna be traveling very, very soon, and it is so confusing. So, I pack this particular suitcase, which is really nice. It is my mother's bag, um, and girl it was a carry-on not a personal item for frontier you need to have a bag that will fit in this area it has to measure 14 by 18 by 8. so if you don't have that kind of measurement bag or a bag of that measurement girl you gonna have to do something else so like i said um, I've been so confused. I've been looking at different videos. And if you haven't traveled in a number of years, please go on and do your homework because there is a lot to know about going through TSA, how to pack your liquids, how to pack your makeup, and what you can and cannot take on the plane. Now, this is the second bag, but I thought it would be a problem because of the wheels. I was thinking that it may not fit for Frontier, but this is a nice bag. This is more of a laptop bag, and the measurements were pretty much on point when it was empty, but when I packed it, it went way past the required measurements for Frontier. And with both of these bags, um, it has wheels and it has a, you know, a pull handle, so I thought I was doing something, girl. And like I said, I had to go through the motions to figure out what it was going to be appropriate so I would not have to pay that additional fee to check my bag in, okay? Okay, y'all. So this is what I came up with. I, mm, mm, mm. I got everything I needed in here but it's open. I don't think it's a great idea to travel with your bags open. Somebody could slip something in, somebody could take something out. So I needed another alternative. So I started checking um, YouTube videos and I came across a gentleman who told me about a bag that would fit in the slot for like Spirit. It measured the 14 by 18 by eight. So. This was my last attempt before I had to go on Amazon and go ahead and pull the trigger and get another bag. So this is a bag that I end up purchasing from Amazon, a one doff bag, if that's how you pronounce it. It is a durable nylon created from water resistant and tear resistant fabric and it's capable of capable of handling heavy loads the only thing that i didn't like about it is that it didn't have a a, a cross body or a you know shoulder strap and girl it's no wheels so i'm gonna have to carry the bag but i'd rather carry the bag than have to pay anywhere from 30 to 65 dollars okay I also ordered this set of three travel packing cubes. I thought it would help my packing and, you know, just give me more room in my bag and be very organized. They're by Gorilla Grip and they were a little of nothing. Travel packing cubes are the way to go. Next, I picked up this beautiful little travel toiletry bag. It's a little bit smaller than what TSA recommends. Their measurements for your liquid bag should be six by nine. And um, yeah, there's a lot of rules on taking liquid, so be sure to check with um, your TSA. And also, you can watch videos. So yeah, I really love this, and it'll be great um, for me because I didn't have anything to put my toiletries in, so I had to go ahead and order this from Amazon as well. They have a really cute one at Target, but just be sure you know what you're doing and you know the rules. I also purchased this mirror. I thought it would be pretty cool because it is a girl's trip that I will be going on, and y'all know the bathroom's gonna be busy, so I could find me a little corner and put my makeup on without disturbing anybody or being rushed with putting on my makeup. 
Okay, so in the first packing cube, I'm going to pack four dresses, one skirt, a pair of shorts, like biker shorts with a bantu top, a two-piece um, pajama set from Victoria's Secrets, some capris. This is a two-piece cover-up, like pants and jacket set. And then I have four tank tops. Next one, I'm gonna be packing my bathing suits and my underwear. So I had them like in these little Shein bags and just that right there. I don't know if I'm taking a bra. I think I might, but I'll have to put that in last. So these are my bathing suits, really cute. So I have three bathing suits and then my underwear. So let's go ahead and pack that. And I think I can pack my socks in there as well. So we'll just put all of that there. Boom, boom. I'll go like kind of where the panties go. Maybe my socks is what I need to put. And then my socks. Okay, now this is the actual travel bag. I love that it has a pocket. Well, actually this is not a pocket. Well, it's a pocket, <laughs> but it slides onto your travel, um, like your suitcase, okay? So it does have that slot for that. Okay, so I have the bag and I decided to put my shoes, um, I didn't use that other packing. No, I didn't use the medium size packing because it just, it just didn't seem like it was gonna work for me. So I put my shoes here. I'm gonna place those at the bottom of the bag. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my small, um, the smallest of the um, of the packing what do you call it? packing cubes. I'm gonna go ahead and put the smallest packing cube that houses, you know, all of my underwear, bathing suits, um, my socks. I'm gonna put that right beside it. So as you can see, I have that and that. I think that's how I had it. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my larger packing cube. The larger packing cube is gonna go right here on the side. On the other side here of the bag, I'm gonna put my jewelry box. 
with all of my items that I'm taking with me on my trip. Right here, my mirror is gonna go on the side of that. Then I have my makeup bag. Set that up. My toiletry bag is going in next. And then my hat and my hangers are going right here in this corner. And as you can see, everything fits perfectly in this bag. I just set that up. fit perfectly in the um, the area for your um, personal item and the measurements look really really good from here it's like eight it's like a right at eight so that should be fine here it's at like eleven and a half and then across I believe it measures not even 18. So that should be fine. I just think when I go, I should just kind of flatten my back a little bit before I put it in. And it should fit perfectly for Frontier Airlines. If you have any questions or concerns about this bag, um, um, everything we're gonna be listed in the description box. And um, yeah. Happy travels. With the rock, with the drop, with it, put a bag, do it, throw a bag that's toxic. Got me flying first class, not super fit too fast, you gon' make a man feel lost. Just lean with the pop, with the rock, with the drop, with it, put a bag, do it, throw a bag.